What is going on, bro? Officially, welcome to the video. I'm not sure about you, but when my life starts to get like hectic and chaotic, then everything can go to shit. My health can go to shit, I sleep less, I miss workouts, my productivity goes to shit, and lately things have been chaotic. You know, we got married, the wedding was amazing, but it was also this big whirlwind of events that threw me off a routine. We moved to Spain, this huge move. On top of all the businesses we're managing, we added in Gains Club, and things haven't been on point. I'm gonna be honest with you, things haven't been on point, and that's why, I want to share with you today my new daily routine to fix all of that. So after the morning routine or wake up routine, Julia will usually make us some coffees today, going with a decaf because I'm hitting a pre-workout later. Even if it's decaf, I feel like drinking coffee just kind of puts you in like, I'm about to grind out some work type of mood, so I like to do it. And before we like dive into the laptop and get lost in work, well, we like to zoom out and do like a triage, I might call it, where we think about all the projects we have going on. So, you know, Edge Lifestyle Clothing, Gains Club Supplements, the Beast Dating Coaching Program, YouTube, the Beastly app. For each of these things, you know, what's the next step that needs to happen? And for each of them, is there anything that absolutely needs to happen today? Because I've realized if we don't do this, I'll just get lost working on just Edge, for example, and realize that holy shit, we've completely forgot about the Beastly app. And even if you're not running your own businesses, I still think it's very powerful to think about the different projects you have going on from a high level so that you're purposefully tackling your day and tackling the most important items rather than just you know getting lost in work just to work. So after a couple hours of working, I'll have a small breakfast, partly because there's no taco trucks around here to have a big ass breakfast. But also I used to eat like no breakfast, then work out, then eat after that. But I prefer to have like a little bit of food in my stomach. That's how I feel best during my workouts. Still technically intermittent fasting. It's like noon right now. I never feel good putting something in my belly right when I wake up. So one thing you gotta love about Spain is that groceries are extremely cheap here. Like this fresh bread here that is delicious, like baked with olive oil or something, four of these is like $1. A little bit of butter on the toast as well as a protein shake with the chocolate chip whey iso from Gaines Club. Did you tell them about the bread here? Julia's a bread belly, she's obsessed. <laughs> it's literally like they cook it in front of you, they bake it in front of you, it's all fresh. All of this from someone who used to be gluten free now just enjoys the real good life, the gluten life. All right, got diagnosed with an autoimmune disease and it wasn't celiac, so. While I ate breakfast, I usually watch a little YouTube. I've been liking Meet Kevin's finance videos, great coverage of the stock market. But today we're gonna watch a video about paddle because we are seriously trying to improve our game, guys. We're not playing around. <laughs> Car update for y'all. We're still rocking with Tio Nono's red Honda hybrid. The the contact I have at the dealership, he still can't give me a, a delivery date. So he's supposed to be here by the end of October and it's 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 frustrating, but this car right here is it's been trusty. I really like it. We've only had to fill up the gas <laughs> once. Great A plus experience. It's 240 now, aka 1440 on that military time life. About to throw back the pre-workout. And you probably noticed that. Everything we do here is like a few hours later than it would have been in the States. Like we woke up at 9.30 and you're probably thinking, 9.30, you're not grinding hard enough, bro. What's going on with you? But you gotta realize we're six or seven hours ahead of the States. Like yesterday we had the edge drop and that was at 5 p.m. here, even though that was 11 a.m. Eastern time. So it makes sense for us to like wake up a bit later, go to bed a bit later, like midnight or 12.30. So we have more of an overlap with everyone we work with. Cheers. This is like our secret spot. We stop here before the gym and look at this beautiful thing. Yeah, it's great. It's it's changed a little bit. It's changing a little bit, but it's always good to see it. People are gonna be like, what the fuck are they talking about? And now it's also time to get back on track in the gym. The last few months I've been 
not being lazy, I'm still consistently coming, but I'm not following a structured routine and the gains don't come if you just like show up, right? You need to be tracking weights and everything. So I'm opening the Beastly app back up, go back to the customized screen here. I gotta update this, I'm 33 now. I think I'm weighing like 183, lower 180s. Gotta go to recomp, we're no longer cutting. I gotta change over to the metric system, sad to say boys. Today's gonna be an upper body workout, starting with some flat dumbbell bench press. Games. Julie, ready? Stealing my thunder. Was it bro or bruh? Bruh. Is it officially back to bruh? Has it not always been bruh? There's been some debate. <laughs> I don't know what it is, man, but even like the workouts feel more satisfying when you're tracking the weights. You know exactly what reps, what sets, what weight you have to do next. We back, baby. It did better than last month's launch, day one. Still, the June launch has been like the strongest this year, but that one had the short sleeve Henleys, which actually sold better than Joggers day one. And that one also had mm -hmm. backpacks, which sold extremely well. And it had movement Joggers. So. We're gonna start working through them. Um, I'll, get, I'll get you an update um, this afternoon. So second work session of the day starts around 4 p.m. Spain time. That's you know 9 a.m. Texas time. So we do the team call with the employees. And it's just like handling the logistics. If the employees have questions, talking to our marketing team, our suppliers. As the businesses grow, that's like kind of the biggest difference is, you know, you have to hire people or, or at least contract with people or use agencies so that you can scale up. Like I can't do most of the work that's done for the business. I don't do personally myself anymore. Luckily, there's a lot of different tools and apps we can leverage to help us scale. And one of them that I think every business owner or, or anyone who's trying to start a business should know about is the sponsor of today's video. ShipStation. Look, if you're running an online store, it doesn't matter if it's through Amazon, Shopify, Etsy, wherever, a big challenge is fulfilling and shipping your orders in a cost-effective, timely way. Like a lot of y'all probably remember when we first started Edge, we were shipping orders out of the apartment. It was hectic, we were constantly overpaying for labels, and looking back, that was a big impediment to our growth at first. And I just wish I had known about ShipStation, and if you're running a store now, especially with the holidays coming up, this is the most hectic time of the year. ShipStation can save you a bunch of time and money by automating all of your ship workflows like if you've just been using the default shipping options you're gonna be dealing with a lot of extra hassle paying higher prices and that's gonna limit your growth ShipStation easily integrates with all the main e-commerce platforms you can manage all of your orders from a simple dashboard and they're gonna get you huge shipping discounts up to 84% off with FedEx UPS and USPS this holiday season give yourself the gift of stress-free holiday shipping go to shipstation.com slash how to beast and sign up for a free 60 day trial that is shipstation.com slash how to beast or you can click the first link in description check it out so something it's not it's not quite part of our daily routine even though almost every day is uh playing some paddle now and we found that at the uh the paddle club which is the gym we go to which also is like 12 paddle courts they have mix-ins every monday and friday which is like it's like pickup games, basically. <laughs> so we've been starting to come. We're so, getting our asses handed to us, but. Yeah, our level is quite low compared to the average player, but we're competitive. We're getting better every time. It's the next two hours. Now, I don't really know who we're gonna be playing against, so I'll try and film some games or some play at some point, but I can't I can't promise anything because I don't wanna be the guy who sucks, who's been like also like awkwardly trying to like record everything. That is it's a bad mix.
Well, I'm not sure what those highlights are gonna come out looking like, but we won four sets and lost one. I mean, uh, we're not playing with like super high level players, obviously, I'm not. But we're, we're bringing things together. This is much, very much like a game of position, and when you're in the wrong position, you just He's don't have a chance of hitting it. So I think we're doing a lot better about finding the right position. I'm getting a lot more comfortable with like the aggressive overhead shots. Julia's a lob master. Whenever I think she's about to miss a point, she just lobs it over them. That puts them way back, and then they can barely get over the net. And a lot of times, they don't even get it. It's over like there. the one-two punch. She lobs it up, and I'll come mm, get them at the get them at the. Mm. And now we need to go replenish the probably like 3,000 calories we just burned playing two hours of paddle. And I think I gotta put my shirt on to go into a restaurant, even though this thing is like. That girl that <laughs> what up, bro? So we're at this spot called Burger Bar, but they actually have bomb ass Asian food. At least we were told that. We came here before and got burgers. I don't think we got Asian food though. I don't remember. It started with some crispy chicken nuggets. And for the main dish, we have a very spicy. Ah, it's very spicy. We'll see. It's a fried rice with chicken. It's never very spicy. It's like never very spicy. Unless you go to an Indian spot. I think it's pretty spicy. So we're filming this the night before we're going out for Halloween, and Dave's gonna be the Joker. The question is. Is it is any dude gonna be picking up a girl looking like this? I, I don't think that's gonna help your game. I'm not wearing the Joker makeup. I'm gonna be a minimalist Joker. <laughs> Jokes on them. <laughs> that's a that's a costume you wear when you have a girlfriend. <laughs> Whoa, snag it. Now I need to grab a little more protein. So we get a couple of these protein. It is actually one of these protein yogurts. These are delicious. And I still probably am in a caloric deficit after three hours of battle. So I'm also gonna eat one of these chocolatas. By the way, have any of y'all seen Barbarians? We saw the first season like last year. It's like a Roman show fighting against Germans. It's actually in German and Latin maybe, I don't know. But it's 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 like a 9.5 out of 10 show. Bist du ein Gott? Nur Götter können einen Mann zum Tode fordern. Habt ihr eine Ahnung von der Macht dieses Imperiums? Ura ut Germania tota. It's really like a must watch show. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up the the daily routine. Right now it is, look at that, 0, 0, 18. It's 1, it's 12, 18. I'm still struggling to, to read this. If you made it to the end of this video, I appreciate you, bro. Hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, go ahead, click subscribe, and turn notifications on, because I drop two new videos every single week, and you don't want to miss them. I will talk to all of y'all in the next video. Stay beastly.